Hello all and welcome back to the David Dacus Guitars YouTube channel. I'm going to go over today this vise that I made out of some scrap wood and uh, it's less than $10 worth of material. I can't remember exactly how much it was. And I've been using this vise for a few weeks now and there's only one thing that really bugs me about it. So I'm going to fix that today and kind of go over this vise with you. So I would call this a light to medium duty vise. Well, it handles any needs that I've thrown at it so far. The biggest thing, biggest problem that it has is you can see there a lot of kind of side to side racking that it does. Uh, and that causes, as you can see as I wind it in right there, causes a good bit of movement back and forth. And I'll let that clip play again so you can watch that side to side movement again. It's not really a big deal. Um, biggest thing is just it kind of throws the balance off when you're winding the handle like that and it just feels very inefficient. I'm not going to get super fancy with the correction here. Just going to cut a couple pieces of scrap plywood. Again, just using scrap wood and put them on the side there. And here I'm marking for the height and I'm just going to cut them with a the table saw. And a test fit here to see how it's doing. I just clamped them in place and I was going to check and see if that fixed that side to side racking like I thought it was going to. And it does pretty good. You can see even right there that already even looks better just uh, wheeling it in like that. And more importantly, I think it feels a lot better too as you're using the vise. And to attach that more permanently than just the clamps, all I'm going to do is spread just a little bit of glue. I don't want that to go down on the runner there. And uh, just uh, pin nail it in place. And put a clamp on it and wait. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do for the vise. I think I'm pretty much going to call it done there. And there's nothing left to do but use it. So I'm going to disassemble the main operating kind of mechanisms there so you can see what that is. Okay, so the heart of the vise is just a 5 8 11 piece of all thread. I chose that because it's about the most coarse thread I could find at the time where I was looking. And there's a matching coupler inside. That coupler to me was just a little bit easier to line up square. And also had a little bit more surface area for uh, epoxying it in place on, on the inside. You can see here just a couple nuts. That washer rotates freely. Each one of those nuts is drilled and pinned. So is that coupler on the inside, and so is the handle. And you can see that washer spins freely. It's going to push against that jaw and close it. So one thing I really had to figure out was a way for it to draw the jaw back with it. And I tried a couple different methods to mount it, and ended up just using that uh, scrap. It's actually a piece of ebony. It was an offcut from a guitar fretboard that I used to uh, kind of capture that washer on the front of the vise and it, all it does is pull the one jaw the uh, jaw that moves pulls that jaw back with it and then you know the forward motion it just pushes against it uh, so simple enough and uh, actually I'm surprised how much I like it I'm just surprised how easy and smooth the operation is it's uh, turned out to be a pretty good little vise and it's just built out of a bunch of scrap wood uh, pieces of maple on the side there uh, just off cuts from a guitar top 
those that jaw the two jaws that's a piece of uh just a piece of pine two by four because i figured that I need something soft because i don't want to dent any of the harder woods because i'll probably be putting a guitar neck or something like that in it so i didn't want to use a hard wood it's really really hard wood for the jaw because i'm going to be clamping mostly hardwoods in it so i wanted something softer than that as far as materials goes it's some scrap plywood um other scraps from off cuts and guitars a little bit of pallet wood handles nice piece of mahogany i had left over and uh, that's it and i thank you guys for watching like and subscribe